Good morning. Glad you all are here, whether you are here in person or on, on Zoom or YouTube. Good morning. We have you with us on this 16th Sunday of after 10 o'clock. I just want to review the guidelines again. As we were reminded by a bishop a couple weeks ago, it's easy to answer, oh, that's fine, but we do need to, to keep following the guidelines. If you're feeling ill in any way, don't come to work with it. Um, stay six feet from one another. Keep your masks on during the worship, except when you're receiving communion. Um, stay in the pews unless you're going to the bathroom, which is downstairs, and they disinfect the bathroom to you see it before and after. The same service is touch. And communion will be brought to you at your seat. And very importantly, if you're starting to have COVID or exposed to COVID, please give me a call so we can do contact tracing. All right, well, let us begin our worship. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And bless be His kingdom now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open. All desires are known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal one, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and wonderful one, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, not to be anxious about earthly things, but to love things heavenly. And even now, while we are placed among things that are passing away, to hold fast to those that shall endure, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, ever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is from the book of Jonah, another one reading from Maria, who will be willing to jump in and read it. Good morning. Good morning. Our first lesson is from the book of John. When God saw what the people of Nineveh did, how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his mind about the calamity that he had said he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. But this was very displeasing to Jonah, and he became angry. He prayed to the Lord and said, O oh Lord, is not this what I said while I was still in my own country? That is why I fled to Tarish at the beginning. For I knew that you are gracious God and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and ready to relent from punishing. And now, O oh Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. And the Lord said, is it right for you to be angry? Then Jonah went out of the city and sat down east of the city and made a food for himself there. He sat under it in the shade, waiting to see what would become of the city. The Lord God appointed a bush and made it come up over Jonah to give shade over his head to save him from his discomfort. So John was very happy about the bush. But when dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm that attacked the bush so that it withered. When the sun rose, God prepared a sultry east wind and the sun beat down on the head of Jonah so that he was faint and asked that he might die. He said, it is better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, 
Is it right for me to be angry about the bush? And he said, yes, angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, you are concerned about the bush for which you did not labor and which you did not grow. It came into being in a night and perished in a night. And should I not be concerned about heaven, that great city, in which there are more than 120,000 persons who do not know their right hand from their left, and also many animals? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 145, verses 1 through 8, and we'll read this together. I will exalt you, O God, and bless you in the name of the earth and life. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Praise the Lord and great for to be praised. There is no end to his greatness. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your power. I will honor the glorious splendor of your majesty and all your marvelous works. They shall speak of the might of your wondrous acts, and I will tell of your greatness. They shall publish the remembrance of your great goodness. They shall sing of your righteous deeds. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Lord, 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 Lord. Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the labor, laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five, he went out. <clears throat> and found others standing around. He said to them, Why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last, than going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them <clears throat> also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner saying, these last who work only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. 
Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, the Lord Christ. In the name of God, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Just to remind us those in Zoom to make sure that you have been speaking to everything you say. Yes. All right. I have a prayer that I've recently discovered. And I love it. And it's kind of ridiculous that I've recently discovered it because it is in every four day by day meditation. Those are the books we give out that are available and that you mail to some of you. It's, on this one, it's in the back, it's for today. And I want to share that prayer with you because it's, I just love it. Oh God, give me the strength to live another day. Let me not turn coward before its difficulties or prove recreant to its duties. Let me not lose faith in other people. Keep me sweet and sound in heart, in spite of ingratitude, treachery, or meanness. Preserve me from minding the little stains or giving them. Help me to keep my heart clean and to live so honestly and fearlessly that no doubt or failure could dishearten me or take away the joy of conscious integrity. Open wide the eyes of my soul that I may see good in all things. Grant me this day some new vision of thy truth. Inspire me with the spirit of joy and gladness and make me the cup of strength to suffering souls in the name of the strong deliverer our only Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I love this prayer because it describes the kind of life I long to live. It describes a life offered to me by God. It shows me what following Christ to each hour of the day looks like. And so I have been seeing it because it reminds me every morning of what I aspire my life to be. A few favorite lines. Let me not lose faith in other people. Open wide the eyes of my soul that I may see, see good in all things. Inspire me with the spirit of joy and gladness. For me, this prayer describes how wonderful life with God is. And that is a life I long for. So let's put the prayer down for a moment because we're going to move on to the gospel. A gospel in the gospel, we have another story about the kingdom of God. And as they said in us, this one person said in our Tuesday evening worship, this would fly today. Guess what? What happened in that story didn't fly back then either. A vineyard owner has work to be done. He goes out early in the morning to find workers, and he finds them, and he hires them, and they get to work, promises them a day's wage. He goes out later in the morning, sees people standing around. They say they have no work. He hires them as well, and they join the others. And he keeps going out during the day and finding more and more workers and bringing them in. 
He even hires people one hour before the end of the day. And the end of the day comes, and everyone lines up to get paid. And the people who work one hour get one day's wage. Imagine how happy they were. But the people who work all day and who work other parts of the day, they all got one day's wage as well. And people, people who worked all day, they were upset. They thought they were getting more. And the big owner was like, that, that's what we agreed upon. That's a tough story. I always get it. Very challenging. Have you ever been at work and discovered someone needs more than you when they do the same work as you do? Or maybe they do less work than you do? And you're there working hard, they're there getting paid to see or more. That can be very infuriating. But this parable is not about this world. It's about the kingdom of God. And in the kingdom of God, things are different. And the thing in the kingdom of God is another person said on a Tuesday evening worship on Zoom. Very prolific this Tuesday evening worship right now. Someone said, you know, in the kingdom of God, the response is when you show up late, it's like, thank God you're here. Come on in. And that is Jesus' story. No matter when people show up, a space is found, they are welcomed in, they get to see. It's something we try to practice in our communities, but it can be hard. It gets to us. I remember many years ago now, I was preaching at um, Epiphany, which is in D.C., and Epiphany on Sunday mornings had a breakfast, which about 200 homeless, and they all had numbers. And I was preaching in this gospel, and I said, you know, this gospel is as if we were to call number 200 first instead of number one. Oh, all of a sudden a loud grumbling arose because most of the people who ate the breakfast were in church. They were half this day. They thought it was serious. And I could be saying, no, 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 it's just an illustration. Because I was going to have a riot on my head. The kingdom of God welcomes those at all times. And that's a wonderful thing. Because we never know when you're the one who's going to show up late for whatever reason. Whether it was something that happened to us or a mindset. We don't know. But the one of the things the kingdom of God says, come on in. Here's your day's wage. Settle in. We're glad you're here. So I have a question for you. Those of you who are working to follow Christ, I mean, if you're on this Zoom service or YouTube or in church, you're following Christ. You are taking time to worship, to pray, to be kind, to forgive, to love others, to study scripture, to fight for justice. That can be hard work, yeah. Why are you doing this now if you know you can show up at the last minute? And you welcome into the kingdom of God. Something to think about, right? Well, this is why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because the kingdom of God is good. It's amazing you get welcome to all times, but if you can get there earlier, it's amazing. Because when you live life with God, you have a strength. You have someone walking along alongside you no matter what. You look for hope in the world. You work to be kind. You work to forgive. You know what it's like to have a relationship with God that can sustain you through the joys and challenges of life. And that, my friends, is amazing. And that's what I hear in that prayer I started with. And that is why I began with it, because it reminded me in detail about what life with God, life with Christ is like. It showed me how I want to live. 
how I long to do it. Because life with God was satisfying in ways that nothing else would. So I'm going to read the prayer one more time to end. And I put the prayer in the bulletin so you can have it there or you can pick up a for a day by day, or you can find it online. I'll put a prime grammar to put the link in our Sunday email. But this, why you listen to the prayer? Think about it. But this is what the kingdom of God is like to live in. Oh God, give me strength to live another day. Let me not turn power before its difficulties. Approve record. To its duties. Let me not lose faith in other people. Keep me sweet and sound of heart in spite of ingratitude, treachery, or meanness. Preserve me from minding little stains or giving them. Help me to keep my heart clean and to live so honestly and fearlessly that no outward failure can disheart me or take away the joy of the conscious integrity. Open wide the eyes of my soul, that I may see good in all things. Grant me this day some new vision of my truth. Inspire me with a spirit of joy and gladness, and make me the cup of strength to suffering souls. In the name of the strong deliverer, our only Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm sorry, folks on Zoom. I don't, I don't think uh, Caroline was able to be here and put up the bulletin on the screen, but you can find it on the front page of the St. Peter's website. So um, if you really need to see the, the uh, bulletin, take a look there. Otherwise, just follow along with the responses. In affirmation of our faith, we stand as you are able as we proclaim together the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, Turn to God as a Father. God from God, light from light, true God from true God. God not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he gave down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he made him incarnate from the Virgin Mary and his name man. For our sake, he was crucified on the cross. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. Who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. 
We believe in your holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge what the baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look at the resurrection and the life of work. Amen. Ever living and ever loving God, we praise you for your loving presence with us. Hear our prayers this morning. Come among us, holy God, and give us your love and compassion to abound as we walk through this challenging season. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Come among us, holy God, and grant your wisdom to those who bear the load of making decisions with widespread consequences. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Come among us, holy God, and support and strengthen healthcare workers and first responders. Quicken the minds of medical researchers and coordinate a collective response to the coronavirus crisis. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Come among us, holy God, and be with all who are suffering with sickness and for all who are caring for them. We pray for the elderly and the vulnerable. We pray for those on our parish sick list and any of the concerns we carry in our hearts. Debbie Leiter, Wood Bryson, William Meyer, Janine Watt, Barbara Jankowski, Andrea Azamato, Joel Leiter, Robert S. Johnson, Tony David, Mary Aponte, Bill Schultz, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Come among us, holy God, and comfort and console all who grieve with the knowledge that you do not abandon the soul to the grave, but will raise your holy ones to resurrection life and gladness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins. No, 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 no. Things done and have done them. Done. And so uphold us by your spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, the people of the sins of our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace, everybody. Peace, everybody. Peace. 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 So we've come to the offertory where we offer up the gifts we have given and the bread and the wine. And uh, if you have brought an offering to you, please leave it in the plate. Um, we also do thank you for sending in on mail, by mail online. Uh, our annual pledge campaign will be starting soon. We talked about giving and why we give back to God and the ministry of this place as a, a joyous way of responding to God's gifts to us. And so now, as we offer our gifts, let us say, as we offer the gifts of our labor and the fruits of the earth we have in this bread and wine, let us say, All things come to thee, O Lord, and of thy own have we given thee.
The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right in the good Lord who came always and everywhere to give thanks to you. Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, for you are the source of life and life. You made us in your image and called us to be life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and our angels and all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord. God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when you have fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you and your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples and said, Take ye, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took a cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And every you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, and offering of his gifts, sanctified by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of you and an ending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah, our Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. The gifts of God to the people of God. For those who for those who don't want to receive, just cross your arms over your chest. If you're in church and you're not comfortable receiving, um, otherwise stay in your pews and I will bring communion to you. But first, let us say a prayer of spiritual communion for those who will not receive and for those who are online. Dear Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Holy Sacrament. I love, I love you above all things, and I desire to bless you within my soul. soul. And, and since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I receive you to come spiritually to my heart. I unite myself to you, together with all your faithful people, 
gathered around at the altar of the church, and I embrace you with all the refuge of my soul, never forgetting to just separate from you. Amen.
you know what happens. And so that was another great, great joy. So this week we have several meetings. On Monday we have the reopening team meeting. We'll be discussing our schedule, but it's working for us right now, the, the service schedule. Um, I would think probably, but I will let you know in the Tuesday email. Tuesday is vestry meeting, and vestry members, I will send out the documents today. I believe our email is back up and working. And, and then on Thursday, the way of sent all team is meeting. So it's a busy week. Um, the masks are in. I washed mine, so it was not ready for me to wear. This morning, with Aunt Ralph, who is the back there, is wearing one. And I will send a picture of someone wearing one in this week's email so um, everyone can see, including those online. We do have some extras if you didn't get a chance to order. And um, let me know if you would like a St. Peter's mask with a quotation from Bishop Curry on it. I think I got it all. And we will not have healing ministry in Zoom. If you're in need of healing, um, please let me know and I will um, pass your name on to the healing ministers. We haven't quite figured out the format yet, but we'll, we'll, get, we'll get there. All right. And then. Um, Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go ahead and end the live stream. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you.